Hi guys, welcome to Old School Hunter and Chauvet DJ Hurricane 1200 and the blue blinking light of death. Normally this blue blinking light indicates you have to refill the fog fluid. If you refilled it and it stops blinking everything is fine, but if you refilled it and it doesn't stop blinking then this video might have an answer for you. I want to show you how to bring this fog machine back to life. I think the solution I want to show you applies to the Hurricane models 1000, 1200, which I have here, and 1600. I didn't check it, but I think those fog machines are built the same way inside. Before we start, here's a short advice. If you like the video, please consider subscribing to my channel, activate the notification bell so you won't miss of the upcoming videos, and please give me a thumbs up. But now let's start and bring this fog machine back to life. So we have a blue blinking light, you refill the fog fluid, but the fog machine stops working after a short time. What might be the problem? In the best case, you have an air bubble inside the tube of the fog fluid. There's a tutorial how to remove such air bubbles and this is pretty simple. Take the remote control, turn the output level to the highest level and let the fog machine run until it stops. Then you power cycle your fog machine. This is what you do two, three, four times. You can support this workflow by tilting the fog machine this way and this way you get the air bubbles out of the tube quite easily. If this doesn't help, please check whether your fog machine is under warranty and if it's under warranty, send it in, legged repair and you are done. But if you are like me and your fog machine is not under warranty, then the following tip might help you to bring your fog machine back to life. But before I can tell you, there are some security advices. The fog machine runs with 220 or 110 volts, so please remove the power cable before opening the case. So be sure your fog machine doesn't have any power. If you previously used your fog machine, let it cool down because the components inside the fog machine are very hot. I'm not an expert for repairing fog machines, so all I can tell is how I solved the problem with my fog machine here. So if you open your fog machine, you do it on your own responsibility and are not responsible for any damages you do to your fog machine. Alright, power is removed and the fog machine is powerless and I opened the case here. So this is how it looks inside and here we have the pump. But what we want is this small component down here. You will see you have to be careful when removing the screws. It's a little bit difficult, so please be careful when removing the screws so you don't damage something inside here. And that's the reason why I removed the screws before I start recording. So let me take it out. What do we have here? Here we have a so-called flow sensor and the tube with the fog fluid runs through the sensor here. And this sensor measures the flow of the fog fluid within the tube. And this is the reason why the machine stops working when you have air bubbles inside the tube here. Imagine if you have an air bubble in between the sensor here the sensor will report to the machine, hey, you don't have enough fog fluid, and the machine will shut down for security reasons, which is pretty cool because nothing runs dry here. But this is why the machine stops working, and this is the reason why you get it back to work when you remove the air bubbles again. But in my case, it was a little bit different, and as I opened the case and removed the sensor, I saw that there was some humidity in between the sensor and the tube down here. I don't know where it come from, what it was. Maybe it's some condensation water or maybe it's some fog fluid, I don't know. I checked this connection here, everything is okay. The only thing I can imagine that during a refill process of the fog fluid, some fog fluid flows over and then flows down this tube here and catches all up at the deepest point down here in between uh, the sensor and the tube. So what I did, I took some kitchen paper here, I removed the humidity, dry it, dry the sensor, dry the tube again. And yeah, that was pretty much the problem. This sensor is also well known to get dirty over time. 
So it is a good point to start tracking down the issue here. So remove uh, dirt from the sensor here because otherwise it will report some faulted values to the machine here. Yeah, when you put it back like this here, please make sure you put the tube back in between the sensor again, otherwise the machine will not work. So let me put it back and then we will check whether the machine works. Alright, the previous scene you saw, fog machine works again, fog comes out and that continuously over a long period of time. And you can see no more blinking light of death here. So I can say repair is done pretty successfully at this point. And yeah, small sensor, big problem and I'm happy that it could be resolved so easily here. Yeah, and if you own such a Chevy Hurricane machine, please write me in the comments if you had some issues in the past and how did you resolve these issues, that would be nice to know. If you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel, activate the notification bell and please give me a thumbs up. We are at the end of the video and all I can say is thanks for watching, see you next time and happy fogging!